Hey everybody, Dan Saved by Grace again. Um, you notice I don't have my guitar with me. Uh, no music in this video. Uh, instead, I just want to talk about what many of you are already contemplating and concerned about, and that is the um, end times and biblical prophecy thereof. And we see everything going on around us, um, the news out of Hollywood, the music industry um, with Sean Combs and others. And we see Cat Williams talk about the truth coming out in 2024. And then we have the pending eclipse and all of that discussion in addition, the recent earthquakes, one over on the east coast of our great country. And first, I want to say earthquakes and uh, natural disasters are all part of the birth pains that Jesus spoke of when he spoke of the end times and that those would accelerate. And we see some of the evils out of Hollywood and the elites in general, um, you know, not just music executives, not just um, those associated with Hollywood, but, um, you know, many folks that have a lot of money and maybe don't know what good to spend it on, so they do bad things with it. But we're hearing a lot of that stuff, and more and more is going to come out. And every time it seems there's a conspiracy theory, or quote-unquote conspiracy theory, uh, oftentimes we find out, wow, there was some truth to that rumor, truth to that supposed conspiracy theory. Uh, so we all feel it. We all know there's something going on here. There's something that just ain't right. And uh, it's time that you look to your Bible. Uh, it will tell you why. It will tell you what to expect going forward. Um, you know, there is certainly a lot more to come. Um, you know, I, I think there's a reason that Cat Williams said the truth will be exposed in 2024. I don't think he meant just that he had some inside information, but I believe that he is... Uh, what he says he is, a Christian, a Bible-believing Christian who knows his Bible prophecy and is on watch for signs of the end times, as Jesus told us to be. You know, we're not to predict, and I'm not going to on this video, going to predict uh, when we'll see the tribulation begin, when we'll see the rapture. Uh, and I want to say, there is rapture discussion in the Bible, contrary to popular belief. You know, you'll hear from some sources that um, the the uh, rapture in the by is nowhere in the Bible. The the um, you know the word rapture. Well, there is plenty of uh, discussion of the rapture and the word. Uh, actually is derived from a Greek word. And Paul talks about this, you know, in the twinkling of an eye, we will be taken up. So uh, the, the dead in Christ will rise also at that time. And then either the tribulation begins or the tribulation will have been halfway through. And that's a discussion for another day. But I will get into more of those types of discussions and some more education. And I'll give you on upcoming videos actual Bible verses instead of just um, doing what I just did, which was paraphrase. Um, but uh, these Bible verses are there and there is proof of what I'm saying woven through the Bible, both Old and New Testament. Okay, so... Getting back to this um, signs of the times we are in and are these birth pains that Jesus spoke of 
um, with wars and rumors of wars. We see that for sure. And uh, increase in um, natural disasters, uh, weather incidences that um, aren't usual, and things of that nature. Uh, I believe so. I mean, we are seeing the birth pains beginning here. We are seeing some signs of end time discussions. Uh, I am not going to predict the time. I mean, this could be rather far off as far as we're concerned. But, you know, if it's 10 years off, well, that's a short period of time when you compare it to all the time before and... Um, you know, it's a short period of time as far as heaven is concerned. You know, one day is like a thousand years in heaven. So uh, that is, if it is 10 years off, that's relatively close. It may not seem like it for us, uh, you know, at being that maybe it's not next year. Maybe it's not this year that the tribulation begins or that the rapture will take place. Now, many folks are saying that the eclipse in a couple of days that will be coming across in, in an arc across America. Uh, and we are, I'm in one of the cities that is one of the focal points here. And we have hundreds of thousands of uh, people in, coming in this weekend to our city for Monday's eclipse viewing. Um, you know, many are saying that this is, a, this is part of the end. You know, uh, I, I'm not a believer in that. Uh, this might be a sign of heaven, a sign in the heavens, a sign from heaven in the sky, as uh, you know, God is certainly capable of doing. It might be a sign of something to come. But see, I believe um, that there are certain things based on my studies of the Bible and of end time prophecy. There are certain things that must take place first before Jesus will return, or even before the rapture, whether that's pre-tribulation or mid-tribulation. Um, I happen to be a mid-trib believer, meaning I believe the rapture will take place three and a half years into the seven-year tribulation period, so that right before the Antichrist is on the scene, we will, as Christians, be raptured uh, into heaven. Many or most uh, Christians around the world believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. So I know I'm in a minority, but again, that's for a different day. Anyway, I do not feel that Monday's eclipse will either start the end times uh, in, in such that it starts the tribulation, nor do I feel we're going to be raptured on Monday. And, and here's why. It's, my studies tell me there has to be a third temple built in Jerusalem, in Israel, uh, before these things can begin to take place. Um, if you want to look up the red heifers, there has to be pure red heifers, and they are, I believe, already shipped over there. Uh, there's also already uh, the stones for the foundation set aside for the third temple, uh, somebody asked me the other day, why would the Jewish people uh, build the third temple knowing that that would usher in, usher in end times for the Christians? And uh, I explained that they don't believe what we believe, meaning the Jewish people that are not converted to uh, the Messiah Christ. Uh, they don't believe what we believe, so they feel it's their duty to build the third temple in order to to establish a throne for the coming Messiah. They don't recognize Jesus as having already come as the Messiah. So that's why they would build the third temple. And we know through much of the prophecy that there has to be a third temple in place in order for the Antichrist to have a place to set up the abomination of desolation, meaning he will enter that temple and um, he will um, uh, blaspheme there and he will, um, you know, claim his right to the throne. The Antichrist will. Uh, and that's all prophesied. So you should read the book of Daniel and try to understand it. 
as well as um, look up the end time discussions of Jesus Christ that you can find in the Gospels. And there's there's others, uh, but those would be the, the two best places to start to try to understand more about end time prophecy and why I believe we are living in the end times, but I do not believe that the eclipse will be the starting point of uh, or or the day of rapture because I believe that the starting point will be the beginning construction of the third temple uh, personally you know uh, could I be wrong absolutely could my understanding of Bible prophecy and messaging be inaccurate absolutely so you have to um, you know make up your own mind when it comes to this stuff. And the only way you can do that is by getting the information. I'm going to try and do more in terms of giving you this information or getting this information for you. And, uh, and I'm going to have Bible verses ready uh, in order to do that in the coming days. Uh, hopefully I won't make you wait too long, not weeks, but rather days because time may be short, you know, um, I could be wrong, and maybe the Monday, the eclipse day, could be the start of something or even a rapture occurrence. But I just don't think so for the reasons I stated. Uh, but you are seeing a lot of the evil exposed. We're, we're, we are noticing that the devil, who knows his time is short, because the Bible tells us he might be the god of this world for now, but once Jesus Christ returns and establishes his kingdom, the devil will be locked up for a thousand years uh, for the millennial reign of Christ. If you don't know what the millennial reign of Christ is, look that up. Remember on a previous video, I, I did give mention of why I think we're in the end times, and it's based on the 7,000-year theory. Remember I said one day in heaven is... As, uh, as like a thousand years on earth. Well, everything, as you know, and the way God structured things is based on seven, seven days of a week. And, and then you have the Sabbath, right? So for seven days in heaven must be 7,000 years on earth. Well, you have 4,000 years BC, 4,000 years essentially before Christ, and then 30 years of Christ walking the earth. And now we've had close to 2,000 years after the death of Christ. Uh, and many believe that 2,000 years after the death of Christ would be 2030. Others believe 2032. Others yet believe 2033. Uh, depends when... Um, Christ was born. Some believe he was born actually prior to year zero AD by a few years. Uh, and, um, you know, whether he lived to be 33 exactly or 32 and a half, you know, these are some of the theological arguments or discussions that play a role there. Nonetheless, we're in the ballpark, so to speak. We are, we might be not, we may be not in the stadium but we're on the grounds of the stadium. We're in the parking lot at least, right? So, uh, you know, so where's that seventh day, you ask? Because 4,000 before Christ, 2,000 after Christ, that's 6,000 years, six days. The seventh day the, is, a, is a thousand year period called the millennial reign. And that's why we believe as Christians that we are that close. And I've also said before, uh, so many generations prior to us felt they were in the end times. Uh, imagine what they felt like in World War II and uh, what the earth seemingly was going to be destroyed by war, correct? Uh, however, Israel wasn't even reestablished yet, and that had to happen. That didn't happen until 48, 1948. So that had to happen. And now the third temple being built has to happen, in my opinion. But we're close. So 
Stay tuned for more discussions on end time and prophecy and why we believe as Christians what we do believe. Uh, and remember, in previous videos, I told you how you can believe that the Bible is the concrete word of God. So I will only give you information out of that concrete word of God. And that's what I plan on doing to bolster today's discussion in the coming days and weeks with uh, Bible prophecy with chapter and verse. I just want to get this out here before Monday, the day of the eclipse. Uh, enjoy this sign from heaven, this wonder in the sky given to you by God on Monday. Remember to wear your glasses that are approved. I think they're ISO approved as not to cause eye damage. Um, we don't want anyone out there looking up there to, towards the sun and having permanent retinal damage or permanent macular degeneration. All right, God bless you guys and, and tell your friends and family not only about the dangers of looking at the sun during the eclipse time to your eyes, tell your friends and family about that, but also tell them about Saved by Grace, www.savedbygracemusic.com. God bless.